everyone! Alright, it's that time again. Now, this is a very special Positive and Healing Month. This is the two-year anniversary of consecutive months on my website. And this is the YouTube version. We've been doing that since June 7th. So June was an incomplete month. We've done August, September, and October. And now is the November. So this is the two-year anniversary of the Positivity and Healing Challenge, which is a challenge that I put together to encourage people to um, be more positive in their life. The premise of it is that no matter how bad a day is, there's always a ray of light to be grateful for in there some way. For example, um, let's say you're really sick and you're in bed and you can't even sit up because you're just so nauseous or in so much pain or whatever. On that day, you can consciously call gratitude for the fact that you have a comfortable bed to be lying in when you're miserable. Or that you have medications that can help you. Or that you have a roof over your head. Or a hot cup of tea. Or one of your, you know, food choices that you like. There is always a ray of light, no matter how dark, no matter how desperate your day. There's always a ray of light in there. So this challenge is intended to be done every day, but you can do it once a week, or once a month, or just once even. And the theory behind why this works, we know that positive affirmations do help people. And many of us who struggle with either mental or physical chronic illnesses engage in a practice called negative self-talk. This would be like negative thoughts towards self, like, um, you aren't doing well enough. You don't look, you're, you know, you haven't dressed well enough. You didn't do your makeup well enough. It's the not good enough syndrome, basically. Um, and so, the more a single thought process is repeated, the deeper and grand or more strong that neuronal pathway becomes in the brain. And so if you actively cultivate a positive consciousness, positive thoughts, you are forging new neuronal pathways that can actually, over time, self-modify your brain chemistry. So if you have depression or even just find yourself struggling because of the rigors of physical illness, um, this can really help. Once a day, taking some time to call gratitude for the good things in life, or, you know, um, something to be positive about. It's not meant as a guilt trip. This isn't like, you know, there's other people in the world who are worse off. It's not that at all. This is a personal, um, calling of gratitude for the things in your life that are blessings, that are good things, that are fortunate things, things that help you, things that get you through, get you by. So I really would love to see more people join us um, on YouTube. The idea is you could take a moment each day and make a short little video, even if it's five seconds, where you just go, I'm grateful for my hot cup of tea right now or I'm grateful for my favorite shirt, or whatever. You can do videos, you can save this video and come post comments every day. If every day is too much, do it once a week. Even if you participate a single time, it's valuable. And we would love to see more people participating. So, here we go for November 2011. Today, my PNHC point is Mr. Empath. Hope. He just called from the parking ride and he's on his way to the house. So yes, my hubby is home. We just weathered six days apart, which is the longest we've ever been apart. And he's coming home to me, so I am very, very excited. Alright, everyone. Think about joining, okay? Be well, precious ones. Much love. Bye, guys.